So now, so now I have a new mini question within that. Was Esther, Abraham has talked about the power of connecting the dots. Oh, yeah. So was Esther trying to connect the dots? Well. Or was that her original intention? Because sometimes I've had things experienced and I've yeah. seen the power of connecting the dots and it makes me look at an area of something that well of course that's what she wanted because her intention and if you've been listening to us for a while it's probably your intention in situations like that too but her intention was to do the work whatever that is there's a thousand processes Abraham do the work set the right tone and then get the results so that she could connect the dots I offered this vibration and this is what happened but what we're saying to you evolved deliberate creator is that that's harder than it needs to be that's way harder than it needs to be because you did all the work as you lived life and knew what you didn't want and knew what you did want and put your rocket of desire into your vortex the law of attraction has already gathered the cooperative components to whatever it is that you're wanting to assemble and your singular intent right now is to be one of the cooperative components to be a vibrational outputter a pretty steady outputter that lets you be a steady cooperative component to what your vortex is gathering up that's it you did the work you lived the life all that life that you lived on your way to your retirement all of that that's all factored in and there are cooperative components gathered up for you Esther loves to be in a hotel near an airport where she can see the planes coming and coming and coming. As far as the eye can see, there's planes coming. There's planes coming. She can see them. She loves to watch them come that way and then look out that window and watch them land and watch them land. And in San Francisco, especially, there's just a steady stream of they're coming and coming and coming and coming and coming. And that's what the cooperative components are. That's what the manifestations are for you. They're lined out there so far. There are so many people involved in this landing things where you can see it and hear it and smell it and taste it and touch it. All you got to do is just tend to your point of attraction. That's all. So we'll just sort of demonstrate for Esther how that's been playing out. So first it was, don't be mad and be kind. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then it was, find the feeling place. But that was pretty hard because it was a pretty good ripple that she was feeling. And then it was, oh wait, tend to my point of attraction. And then she thought, which is what we're saying here, just find any thought that feels good and then it occurred to her my job is not to make myself feel good about that my job is just to feel good not about that my job is just to feel good and then she said oh well, that's easy sure like this house really like this rug you seen it it's a really good rug <laughs> love that bird love the fragrance of that cat claw that's blooming in Texas right now mountain laurels too in other words love that love that love that and in her immediate vicinity there were plenty of things to observe and focus on and she felt the tension just lifting in fact the tension no longer had any connection to what had caused the tension the tension just lifted her point of attraction shifted because she finally understood that the work is to find what already matches don't try so hard to claw that into a match just find what matches and oh once you start making those lists of what matches i mean that seems really rudimentary almost silly bird tree flower but if you like bird trees and flowers it works <laughs> and then humor and then fun and then camaraderie with that and it just comes and comes and comes and comes and comes the cooperative components are so abundant and so readily available and so ready for inspiration because you got to remember oh 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 you got to remember that the law of attraction is working on every cooperative component in your vicinity the law of attraction already has the number of the number meaning the 
ammo, the modus operandi. The law of attraction already knows exactly who the drivers are around you and what they've got going on. The law of attraction already knows what the market is bringing and where the ideas are and who's ready to hatch on that idea. The law of attraction has already understood all of those points of attraction. But you don't want to be the law of attraction. This whole thing came into clarity. You already heard this, we know. When Esther was talking to her friend, a comedian on a cruise ship, she's on cruise ships all the time. She's a really funny girl. Esther was talking to her on the phone and she said, I'm having a terrible week. The stage manager this week is terrible. He does not know what he's doing at all. And Esther listened to her friend who is mostly pretty positive and she was just railing on and on and on and then explained how she had to step up and she had to step in and Esther said how'd that go and she said not good he wasn't having any of it and then as Esther began to visit with us about it we said she's not the stage manager she's an act in the play she's not the law of attraction you are not the stage manager you are not the law of attraction you are a cooperative component to want it or not you are a focuser because you're emitting in every waking moment you're emitting a vibration and the law of attraction is cooperating componing you bringing you together with all things that match haven't you ever noticed how you can get around a table and somebody can bring something up and it's so easy for the conversation to go in that direction if you're not steady you can be just by your attention to something you can become a cooperative component to something that you don't have any intention to be a cooperative component of and most of the time if somebody accused you oh you were a cooperative component of that you would deny it because you didn't want to be but the law of attraction never ever 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 misunderstands where your vibration is or anyone else's so we really like it that you've been like a dog on a bone Esther has too she's just watching for feelings and then she's acknowledging do I want to be a cooperative component of that then keep focusing here if not do anything to do the only thing that matters which is tend to my point of attraction yeah I felt so much from that all of that this momentum of just the feeling taking me there and just letting it one day, this was years ago when you could still do this, Esther was really good. If somebody locked their keys in the car, she kept a hanger in her car. <laughs> she could unlock any locked door with a hanger. She loved it so much. There wasn't a day that went by that she didn't rescue somebody in some parking lot somewhere. It was an epidemic. And one day Jerry said, I threw your hanger away. Esther knew why. She had that point of attraction going. There were locked out victims all over the world. And she was focused on saving them from their dysfunction. And the law of attraction had her number. And theirs too. Some of them locked themselves out because she was in the parking lot. That's how cooperative the law of attraction is. Did you hear that? In other words, she was such a cooperative component to saving someone, someone cooperated with her by needing to be saved. Hey, we're not kidding you, that's big. Take that one in. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next